This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Give it up for the notification squad. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want a chance to be featured, make sure you hit that notification bell and come show your girl some love when I drop a new video. This is the queen. The queen is about to pick up a toothbrush. Remember, we wanted to get some colors. Look, it go pink color. I like pink. We like pink. This a this a two pack. A two pack. There's some blue. Yeah, plenty. You got all the neon colors in there. Yeah. And then I got some white. All right, I think I might actually just go with this. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> Anything else for me? Oh, I want some mouthwash for my own stink breath. <laughs> We have lift off. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out another nail hack and this one is the toothbrush nail. All right, that seemed easy enough. <laughs> so some of my followers tagged me in this video on IG and wanted me to try this out. So I was like, okay, what the heck? <laughs> so I picked out these three colors of toothbrushes to use. And now I'm just gonna take my sharp sewing scissors and cut out the bristles. And I was trying to be, you know, slow and careful, but every cut I made, the bristles just flew all over the place. <laughs> um, so it kind of looked like I wasn't getting any, but as I kind of scooped everything up in a pile, I was like, oh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> and I actually kind of picked up all the other bristles that were on the paper tile as well. But yeah, it was a little labor intensive to cut all of these bristles out. Two very boring minutes later. All right, so with the power of editing, we have all four colors of bristles. So I'm gonna be using the appray system to build up the nail. And first I'm going to apply the pH bond, which is a dehydrator. And then the primer. And now I'm gonna go in with a thin coat of the Extend Gel, which is basically builder gel in a bottle. And then I'm gonna take my tweezers and the toothbrush bristles and try to place them, um, you know, straight like there were in the video. <laughs> but that video was only nine seconds and they made it look so easy to put these bristles on and I kid you not it was not easy at all it took a long time I really didn't want to put them on one by one so I kind of just grabbed a whole bunch of them plopped them in the gel and then used my tweezers to kind of straighten them all out um, but this was so time consuming <laughs> like that video made it look so easy and it's not and for some reason, these tiny bristles, I guess just from staring at them so long, it reminded me of the childhood game Kerplunk. I know I'm showing my age. But yeah, this is a mess. I was, I was so ready to give up because it was just taking so long to line all of these up. I was like, oh my goodness. So after getting somewhat all of them lined up, I'm just adding some pink. I kind of wanted to, you know, add some more color 
to it but uh, as you guys can see it was it was not an easy task <laughs> Many, many minutes later. All right, so this is what the bristles look like after I have them all lined up and I'm gonna go ahead and cure in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. So after curing, I'm gonna apply another thin layer of the builder gel. I'm just doing thin here because I'm gonna be putting some glitter in this. You know, I gotta add a little something something to these toothbrush nails. <laughs> So I'm just gonna tap some glitter into the wet gel. Glitter makes everything better. <laughs> So after applying the glitter, I went ahead and flash cured in the nail lamp for about three seconds. And then I'm just gonna use my tweezers to kind of pinch the nail to kind of give it not such a wide look, but it didn't really work. I don't know how to pinch. <laughs> um, so I did a full cure and then I'm gonna go in with a thicker layer of the builder gel and I'm just gonna build the nail up. And because these nails are fairly short, I don't have to have too much product. Um, so I am just trying to make it nice and even and you know, with the correct shape and structure of the nail. And I just wanna say that I am not a pro when it comes to gel. Um, I've only used gel a few times, so I am still a work in progress which is why I chose to use this gel because it does come in a bottle and it kind of makes it easier to apply. I'm just floating the gel, trying to create the shape and everything like that. And just trying to get rid of any of the dips or uneven areas of the nail. I must say for somebody who isn't used to working with gel, the Apre gel is a dream. So after carrying that in the nail lamp for 60 seconds, um, it's pretty tough and the nail is kind of flat in the center. So I'm just adding some more gel to build that up. And once I fill in all of the flat areas and kind of like the shape of it, before I cure, I'm just gonna flip my finger over and kind of let gravity do some work here. <laughs> um, and this is gonna make the gel kind of pull into the center of the nail and create that nice shape. And then I went ahead and cured in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. And I basically do the same thing for each nail, just alternating the colors of the bristles. One eternity later. This is taking forever. All right, so this is after all of the nails are formed and cured. And I'm gonna take some alcohol and wipe off the tacky layer so I can do my shaping and filing without gunking up my nail file. So I was gonna start off with the nail file, but I just decided to go ahead and cut the bristles because that's kind of what they did in the video. All right. 
right, so now I'm gonna take my hand file and do my shaping. So gel is easier to file than acrylic and I was expecting this to be a breeze, but the toothbrush bristles made it so much more difficult to file these. I wasn't able to file those. Um, they just began to fray and the more I would file them, the more they were fray and separate from the gel. So I had to keep stopping and using my scissors to kind of clip off the frayed edges. This just made filing, ugh, it took so long. <laughs> So after struggling with hand filing for about 30 minutes, I was like, let me use my e-file. So I'm just trying to do the shaping with my e-file, which is not easy for me to do. Um, I am not a pro when it comes to the e-file. I know how to kind of smooth the nail off and do the finishing stuff, but as far as shaping and all that stuff, I, I'm not good at that. I was a little upset because I was going for my signature coffin shape and because I wasn't able to file the sides and the edge the way that I wanted to, it just turned into this round almond shape. <laughs> it's not my best work. However, the show must go on, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my gel top coat. Aside from the awful shape, the colors of the toothbrush bristles and the glitter just makes the perfect combination. And when the gel top coat hits, it just brings them to life. And to make me feel better about these nails, before I care, I'm gonna add some bling. So after doing my final cure in the nail lamp, I'm just gonna apply some cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. So yeah, these turned out pretty cute. I love the glitter and the colors of the bristles. But as you guys can see, the bristles are still fraying and separating from the gel. As the days went on, it just separated more and more. And I know some of you guys are gonna say, um, did I put gel underneath the nail? And yes, I did when I was building the nail up. So in theory, these are kind of encapsulated, but like in some areas, like on the sides, it's fraying. It's just a mess. <laughs> Would I recommend this hack? No, because it's not practical. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.